Hi everyone, how are you? Well, it's Sunday again, and I hope we have a couple people join, because um, I'm not having fun doing this. Um, you know, my husband just said, what are you doing? Like, this isn't for work, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, I just like doing it. I like talking to people, so, um, hey Haley. Um, just me and you, sister. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do, um, by request of my cousin, um, something a little softer on the eyes and a bolder lip. Actually, Haley, I think you asked for this too a couple days ago, but it's probably going to be pretty soft. But I have to say, I've talked to a few people or seen a few people and, um, they've showed me some of their work, um, you know, from watching the video and trying some tips. So I think that's awesome. So I am going to do, um... You know, I guess for for me, a soft look, I don't wear a bold lip too often. I think I talked about that a few weeks ago, um, especially with a mask now, right? But my cousin lives in Florida, lucky for her, and um, I don't think she has to wear a mask all the time. So she said, you know, hey, could you do something that has a softer eye and maybe a bolder lip? Because I like to do that. So um, she wasn't feeling my smoky eye last week, you know, which I can get. Not a lot of people like that. Um, or feel comfortable doing it. But um, again, like I said, those looks are something that anybody can wear. Um, it just depends on what you're doing. Again, I wouldn't wear it for picnic, you know, <laughs> maybe for lunch at, you know, Chick-fil-A. But, you know, if you want to do something a little bit different, because maybe you have a special event to go to, that would be awesome. So, um, Anyway, I'm going to jump in. As you guys can see, I actually um, put my foundation and my brows on already and mascara was from earlier. So I thought, um, you know, what I would do is just jump in and get started on eyes, you know, and then we'll do cheeks and lips. So um, hopefully if you guys have any questions, please pop them in because uh, that makes it, you know, a little bit more exciting for me. Um, I did a live video last week and posted it, um, and it was strange to talk to myself, but then again, I talk to myself every week. So um, so anyway, again, we're gonna do soft eye, bold lip. It might not be your bold lip, but it's gonna be my bold lip for today. So um, I'm going to start out, I already put eyeshadow primer on, so I'm actually going to um, lay down a little product with this MAC Paint Pot Again, I don't tell you what things are just so you go out and buy them because obviously you don't need to buy anything. And I was thinking about it today. I think next time I do a video, I'm going to try and do it all with um, products from like the store. I shut the door, Haley, so he couldn't come in because he was barking already. Um, if he wants to come in bad enough, he will. And um, also, you know, with my fingers, I don't think I have any eyeshadow applicators you guys um so but I want to make it realistic so if you say to me I don't have all those brushes like how do I get this look that I can sympathize and maybe you know give you some tips and tricks or show you that you can make the products work it really the tools are great however I will tell you for many years um even up to probably when I went to makeup school I used an eyeshadow applicator to apply almost all eyeshadows. Now, they weren't perfectly blended, but um, really depending on the touch that you have, it's just now that's what I use. So I wanna be able to give you guys um, some tools that you can use, you know, without having to feel like you are never gonna get there because you don't have these products. So um, I'm actually gonna start um, by just using this as my eyeshadow primer. And you can see it's just a really soft, light pink. Um, and I'm just going to put that on my eyelid, like right up to my crease. And this is just going to give something for the eyeshadow to stick onto because you'll see the shadow that I'm going to be using is very, very light. And um, hopefully you guys, because I know a lot of times I think my makeup looks more dramatic um, in this lighting. And then sometimes when I watch the video back, I'm like, oh, it didn't look dramatic at all. So hopefully, even though this is a soft eye, um, it's still enough that you guys feel like it's something that you can wear. So I'm gonna add a little sass to it. I'll put a little tiny wing at the end. Um, so that way, you know, it's something worthwhile. So, <laughs> Tara, you are a lost cause. Your daughter is going to take you and beat you. But I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad that you uh, shared your eyebrow story, you know. So, <laughs> no. 
No mascara on your eyebrows unless it is made to go there or it's clear. I thought we went through this. So this is the shadow that I'm using. I know it probably looks white on here, you guys. Oh, that's probably better. It's like flesh colored. It does have a little bit of like an iridescent in it. Um, hi, Morgan. <laughs> um, that is so funny. I know. We all need help. I, I laugh at those people that like, you look in their car or like you're going through the drive-thru and you see them sitting in the restaurant and they're literally every single person at the table is on the telephone. And I'm like, oh my God, is that me? So um, you guys know, I told you before, I have a lot of space from my eyebrow, or I'm sorry, bleh, from my brow bone to my eyebrow. There's a lot of space there, but I don't have a lot of space on my lid. So I like to fake it. So um what I'm doing right now is just kind of packing on this light color and I'm going to do it right on my lid up to my brow bone. So you can see I'm kind of placing it. So Tara, this is like an eyeshadow applicator. So you can use this similarly. And I'm actually putting like, you can see like I'm going over it two times just because I really want that area to pick up. And maybe after I'm done, I might actually do it a third time. You never know. You never can tell what I'm going to do. All right, so hopefully I'm organized today, but probably not because, you know, that's what happens when I'm here. So I'm taking the same color and I'm gonna go all the way up to my brow bone. Morgan, I don't know if you've tried this yet, um, but I'm trying to get the hang of doing my makeup in the telephone. Um, I don't think I'm very good at it yet, so. <laughs> so since you're a young whippersnapper, you know, you can always give me some um, feedback on like lighting or what was hard to see because no one talks to me here. It's very rare. So the other thing you can see is I'm kind of going in towards that inner corner of my eye. One, because I have a little darkness, but two, again, that kind of opens my eye up and just makes it look a little brighter. So this is gonna be the only eyeshadow I put on my lid or on my highlight. So just this one shadow is all I've used thus far. This is gonna be a simple one. All right, so the next color I'm gonna use, this is called Omega. So this used to be my eyebrow color. This is kind of a tan that has a little bit of taupe in it. It turned, you'll see, it might turn a little grayish on me. So the idea is this is just gonna be a very light shadow in my crease. That's awesome, thank you. I appreciate it, really. I'm not even trying to be smart <laughs> because I don't know. And I played with lighting the other day and I keep asking people, I'm like, can you see me? Is the lighting good? Should I do this one, this one, this one? So um, again, I'm just using my crease brush here. So, so far, two brushes, or it could be an eyeshadow applicator and a fluffy blending brush. And you guys know why I love this brush, right? I say it every time. I love it because it applies color with the, with the tip and the little tapered edges blended out at the same time. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some of my color on there. And again, you kind of poke yourself right in the eyebrow. I say, you know, why can't I talk tonight, you guys? If you know me, <laughs> Haley can vouch for me. I'm turning into a stupid person. COVID has made me stupid. Um, I gave the tip a few weeks ago is never place your blending brush out here. Cause one, you're gonna get fallout and it kind of drags your eye down. So I always like to press kind of that crease color right in here um, in the middle. And then I go back and forth, right? Like a little windshield wiper. And this is just gonna create a really subtle crease color. So I'm just going back and forth. And again, when I get out to the outside here, I'm just kind of flicking up towards the tail of my eyebrow a little bit. So that way it's kind of like an you know illusion. Did you guys know when I started my, when I started? like my makeup business. When I came back from Canada and was going to do, you know, like more freelance work before I learned it was illegal in the state of Pennsylvania and I'm a rule follower, um, that was my business name, was going to be Illusions by Tiffany. Um, again, because makeup's all about an illusion. So again, this is kind of where we're gonna be. Like this is going to be the eye with the exception of eyeliner. So again, only two colors right now. So you guys think this one's easy enough? Right. Morgan, did you do any more uh, research? Tara, close your ears on complexions. It's 
So if you guys are just joining, I'm doing a soft eye bold lip tonight. This is my ode to MAC, you guys, because almost everything I'm using is. This used to be one of the looks that I did when I worked at MAC a long time ago. See what's old is new again. Did you guys see, I'm learning, you know, from the internet, that the new generation does not like the emoji that has the laughing tears. It's not cool anymore. Yeah, the scholarship, but in general, like even going up to visit Morgan. Um, and also, so I hear, just so you know, skinny jeans are out, man. They have banned them. So you'll see all the young, cute girls in these like high-waisted, kind of looser legged, straight leg uh, jeans. So, all right, so this is it. So I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of eyeliner on. Um, and what I'm going to use is actually a burgundy color, which is the color I'm gonna actually do on my lips as well. So I'm gonna do two things. First, and I've never used this one. Well, it looks like I've used it, but I haven't used it on myself. I think I might have used it on somebody else. Um, this is actually an It Cosmetics Rich Plum Liner Love. So I'm just going to do a little flick here at the end. Um, and then I'm actually going to, just because I want to soften it a little bit, I'm going to go over it with um, a little bit of eyeshadow. Just so it sets it and softens it a little bit because I'm not really like looking to do kind of a stark line. So... I have a tiny, tiny little angled brush here. Oh my God. No, I saw an update today. My friend Tara told me that there's an update and I think what's happening is there's still gonna be a Mr. and a Mrs. But I think there's also going to be a um, generic one. So that way families can make like two moms or two dads. I don't know if that's true, but that is the latest update. Is there anything wrong with? Oh, see now Haley, I don't think so. I don't think there is a wrong color combo, but you would tell me I'm crazy with some of the things that I've done. So, you know, I guess these are still, these are both cool colors. So, you know, even though it's a brown, it's a cool brown. So it's like a taupe versus a warm tone. However, again, this is the part where I say like, there are no rules with makeup. What I wouldn't put together. I don't know, I probably wouldn't put, <sighs> blue eyeshadow is a hard one for me. Unless it's a navy that you're using as a liner or navy to make kind of like sexy, sultry crease. Um, blue is a fun, playful color for me. But I don't know that anybody should be walking around and saying, ooh, this royal blue, but if you're like wanting something cool and funky. Again, it's like one of those things when I worked at MAC or worked at Sephora, I could leave the house and I could go with the craziest makeup, I didn't care. Um, but when I would come home and say my friends were having a picnic and I showed up, they were like, oh, goodness, what happened to you? So I think it depends <laughs> on where you work. But no, I don't necessarily, I think you'd have to give me like, I love pink and green together and peach and green looks really pretty together. Um, you know, if you did a warm brown and did blue in the, in the corner, that would look pretty. So maybe if you gave me an example, I could tell you, no, that is not okay. So I'm going to see, I'm probably, guys, I'm going to look down a little bit here in my mirror to see if I can put my little um, flick on. And I'm going to put my bright light on for just a second. So I apologize. So I am literally just putting a little divot right there. Like I haven't even really barely touched it, but it's gonna put like a tiny little wing on just the outer corner. And I'm actually only going to go like halfway across with this. And again, I'm not worried about being perfectly precise right now because I'm gonna go over it with some eyeshadow. So, is this scary? <laughs> your mom's judgmental. Well, I do think it's, ir it is honestly, I, I don't care, um, what your sexual preferences or what you do, but I mean, I just don't think our whole world needs to change history. You know what I mean? Some of it's just people getting crazy. Like I love the movie Grease. I forget what I was watching today. I was, Oh, see, that's always the thing. You guys, even pro professional people, Sometimes it's hard to get that wing to be the same on both sides. 
even I make mistakes. Um, the one thing, I forget what it, what we were watching. It was something, uh, something very popular from the 80s. And I said to my husband, oh my God, can you imagine if somebody was watching this television show? That's going to make me crazy now. Um, anyway, I guess we were all completely inappropriate when I grew up. Krista, I know. And you know what um, my trick was when I would try it when I was you know, first starting out, and again, obviously you can see I'm still learning, <laughs> is um, to take a pencil first and then kind of like sketch where you want to put it and then go over it so you can kind of trace over your line. <laughs> I know, Grease, Grease was on last night too. I was watching it. And then, you know, I thought it was really funny at the end, when you get there, you'll think of me, um, when... Sandy decides that she's just not good enough being a good girl, so she has to, like, get sexed up by, what's her name, Pinky or something? The girl with the pink hair? What's her name? Frenchie. Frenchie, Pinky, same thing. Um, she, like, te like, she comes over there and smokes, too, and I'm like, it's so funny to see, like, old television shows where smoking was completely, like, okay. It seems like a lifetime ago when people smoked in, like, uh restaurants and things don't you think it's funny like <laughs> that wasn't really that long ago now if someone did it we'd be appalled so I'm taking you guys can tell I love this color because I hit the bottom a long time ago I'm not gonna say I hit pan because I think that sounds silly and I'm not cool enough to say it so this is like a burgundy brown it comes out really dark but what I'm gonna do is just kind of take it over top I'm gonna turn my light off here so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better but you can see this is not perfect so I'm gonna take this shadow and I'm just gonna really lightly, again, um, I wanna show you what I'm doing because I think it sounds easier. So I showed you this before. So I am not, goodness gracious, I'm not dragging the eyeliner like that. What I'm doing, and this is just eyeshadow, you guys. What I'm doing is I'm actually taking it and stamping it. Like, so I'm pressing it in little by little and it makes it a lot easier. And that's this one right here. I need to work on my um, presentation skills, I think. But you can see I'm really, really softly just kind of touching over that. Well, thank you so much for, for pausing your, pausing Grease to, to hang out with me, Tara. I expect to see um, you in a winged liner, soft eye, and um, dramatic lip. I have to tell you, you are one of the most photogenic people. I'm so jealous of you when you post uh, like selfies on Facebook because unless Morgan's helping you and then Morgan, you take great pictures, but okay. So what do you guys think? Is this like crazy dramatic? You don't have to add the liner piece of it. I just wanted to show you when I put my eyeliner on, they'll definitely, like, it looks a lot less, so. And I think when you do the wing liner, you have to take it out a little bit more than what you ever normally would because it disappears once you put your mascara on. Um, and again, I think I showed you that trick with the sponge last week, so we'll do that again just to make sure everything's perfect. Hi, Miranda. Listen, hopefully you guys have a prom this year, right? If you do... If anybody has anybody who ends up having a prom, I love doing prom makeup. Makes me feel like I'm in high school again. Oh, see, I'm not like that. I'm, I know that's the trick, right? Is somebody else told me that you have to take like thousands of them. <laughs> you have to take a lot and then get the right one. And I just, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I just am too impatient, I guess. So I'm going to Go ahead and add my mascara over top of the mascara I already have. So um, I did my mascara earlier today. So again, this is my Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. But again, I love L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, I don't use a lot. That's probably my go-to. I know everybody says that, you know, Maybelline Great Lash is like what every makeup artist uses. And I think they're liars because I've very rarely... What the heck? What is that little smudge digital? I think I'm gonna start making a mistake like every, I don't even know what that is. It was like a little mascara club. Right, <laughs> Krista, that's how I feel too. Um, I'm like, oh God, that's so ugly. And then it just, 
I only have like this one side that looks good. So I feel like then every picture and then I make this like goofy face that I'm trying to do. Morgan, I've been playing with a lot of different foundations. Um, I was telling everybody the one that I have on today, I actually is this Bye Bye um, by It, but it's the full coverage um, moisturizing foundation. And I wore it... Um, I actually tried it last week on one of these and I was like, holy moly, this is like full coverage. So I had to go back in with my beauty blender um, because I felt like it was just way too much. I put it on with a foundation brush and it was, hey, Dan, how are you? You want to learn some makeup? All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to start this lip, okay? And then maybe we'll go back into the eyes a little bit. So you guys can see this is simple eye, right? All of you can do this. Christy, you can do this, right? Yes. All right, and I am going to, don't get scared, everyone, because I did do a very light eye, so I'm gonna match my lip liner with my lipstick. So instead of doing soft all over or dramatic eyes and a soft lip, I'm going to go ahead in and line my lips. So, you know, I told you before, I have to be quiet, so you guys must talk amongst yourselves, you know, because <laughs> I can't hear anything. So I'm gonna go ahead in and sketch in my line And you know, I hate silence, so I feel like I have to talk to you. Krista, come on. I don't live far from you. You can pop over anytime. Maybe what we should do is everybody should get out their makeup mirror, and then you guys can follow along, right? Hi, Mama. You think the colors blend together like there's not enough Definition, you want me to put it, make it darker? Don't you guys hate when you do dark lip liner and you feel like it has to be perfect, right? <laughs> Dan, I tell Dalton all the time, girls like guys who can do makeup and hair. So it might be a good profession to look into. He laughs at me too so all right so you guys know I like to sketch in a little bit I will make it perfect when we're all done hi Tara so especially in the outer corners um, just because you don't ever want your lipstick to wear off and then have that lovely you know line around your mouth and then you just look silly uh, I will be honest you guys I am NOT a makeup toucher upper like when I leave the house, um, whatever is on my face is what stays on my face. The only thing that I would touch up is, oh, that's cool. We should tell her to join. I do hair too, but not officially anymore. Um, I just take a lipstick with me. That's the only thing I ever touch up. And if you're oily, using like a translucent powder to keep in your purse. But other than that, nobody should be putting on foundation all day or more blush all day unless you're planning on, you know, going for that hot night out on the town. Which not too many of us are doing these days. All right, so that's good enough for right at this point. I'll go in and... Make it perfect. Don't forget in here. Especially if you have dark. And you just really look silly. So I was looking around at a color that would suffice. And I couldn't find the color that I was looking for. But I found this like cool little Urban Decay. Hi, honey. Cool little Urban Decay um, lipstick sample kit. So that's what I picked out. And so I'm going to actually do... Gosh, I hope I now, yes, I'm going to do this one. It's called Blackmail. I've never used it before, you guys, so hopefully it's not, well, it'll be too crazy, I'm sure. Haley will tell me later on, she won't say it now, but that she will never, ever, ever. That is lip liner, yeah. But you know what, Tara, I'm also big for like using the lip liner as your lipstick if you like it. So you can fill this whole lip in, which I typically do do, do do, um, you know, and you could do like just a lip balm and use this as your lip color. So it's kind of like a wine. And I wanted to do that to match with the eyeliner. And I never, you guys use, 
I never use a lip brush at home, but I'm not, I don't feel like sticking my finger in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a lip brush. How many of you use brushes at home? Or are you like finding that when I talk about this stuff, you're like, I have none of this. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at this one. Whoo! That is, maybe it's um, cause it's called blackmail. <laughs> maybe it's like black. That's maybe, hmm, should we go for it, I guess, at this point? Then somebody's going to literally turn, come on and think I have lost my ever-loving mind. Hi, Marlo. I put on a lipstick that's a little scary, you guys. If I go downstairs, my husband is going to be like, what in the world? That is one thing. I don't mind bright lipstick. I don't mind red lipstick. But I've never worn, like, blue mix <laughs> lipstick or... Um, Tara, I don't know if you were on, but I was talking about next week, um, doing a demo with you guys. I have to take this off. This is just, God, this is terrible, but I don't have any tissue. So sorry, beauty blender. All right. Start over. <laughs> Mom, are you saying wow at my lip color? Well, hopefully this one turns out, you guys. If not, I'm just gonna put something bright over top because that's usually my style anyway. All right, this one's not who I had. This is actually what I was going for anyway. So this one is called Rock Steady. You know, just in case you all get off the, off the call with me and you're like, Oh my God, I have to have that dark lip that Tiffany had. We can all go on Urban Decay. All right. Am I scaring you guys yet? Haley, are you scared? I wanted a color like this for my um, bridesmaids dresses. And it was so hard to find. It was either purple or pink or red, but it was never, I actually wanted like that, the deep blood red. All right, so Morgan, your mom wants to wear something. Get at it, Tara, so can you. I told you before, it's just makeup. All right, so we wanna make this perfect, right? And we all know Usually what I'll do after I have my lip on is I'll go around with my lip liner again just to kind of make everything perfect. I told you a lot of times this lip for some reason um, ends up, the side ends up being like more curved and this one's more pointy. So I always have to go back in. And uh, again, my little trick, I did put a little bit of eyeshadow primer around my lips just because um, I want you guys to look at me because we always talk about skin, right? So I tell you guys all the time I'm a lip chewer and this is the side that I chew. So what I noticed in watching these videos is one, I know that is where my deepest line is because I chew like this, right? But it also is like right here is where I'm sagging because what I do when I chew, I don't want to do it now, but I take my cheek and I pull it. I, it's a crazy, it's a horrible, horrible. <laughs> but Maybe I should smoke or something. It might be better. Anyway, I have to go back over and I have to make sure that I reline and kind of make everything come together. But because of that, I use a little bit of eyeshadow primer right around my top lip. So that way none of my lipstick bleeds into my face. We know that's not, you know, what something that any of us want. Especially dark color. All right, so now we have it on and we want to make sure, right, you know, because we're going to like a photo shoot, you know, we want to make sure that we all look perfect. So I have a little bit of powder and I have, um, you could do this with a brush or you can do it with a sponge. Um, and I'm going to just go right around the edges. I'm going to tap right around the edges to make it perfect. And what it does, it makes that area just a little bit lighter. So... Um, it just kind of finishes your lip and everything looks very perfect. All right. All right, any questions? So Tara, I know that you were saying that you need to get brushes. And I know that um, Krista was sharing that she purchased some of those brushes from 
Amazon. Um, unbelievable prices if you need them. But honestly, I think depending on the kind of makeup you want to do, again, what I want to say is maybe you don't need every single thing. I have, you guys, I have, if I could do like a pan of my makeup table, um, you either would think I'm crazy. I can't even tell you the thousands and thousands of dollars that I have over the years. And you got to remember, I've been doing makeup for about 25 years, which that is crazy in itself to, to say. But, um, so I don't want anybody to feel like, oh my gosh, I, I don't have that. I can't get the look. So, you know, next week I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, do a look with just, I think my fingers. All right. So I'm going to go in because this is more dramatic, right? I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do like, I just feel like I have to like one more swooshy in my crease. Again, a little back and forth, like a little windshield wiper. And again, just a light brown, like a light taupey brown. You guys, it looks almost like it's not going to really do anything. This was my eyebrow color. And then again, I'm going to take my light color, which is this kind of fleshy pink color. And I'm just going to kind of tap that in. And again, I'm going to go on the inner side right into this inner corner. And again, just look how that makes that eye pop a little bit. And it makes that lid look um, bigger because I don't have much of an of a lower eyelid. So, and it makes the wing look a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna go in, I'm going to add a little bit of contour, right? And I like to make it a little bit dramatic at the beginning so you guys can see that you're, it should blend out. So again, from the little nubbin, like you're going to do an invisible line to the pupil, okay? So that's where we wanna do it. And we do not ever want to contour with bronzer. Nobody wants, giant orange lines on their face. This um, contours are supposed to mimic a shadow, right? And I want my face, cause it's a little bit rounder. You guys see, I got my hair cut off. Um, I'm gonna do just a little bit of contour around the top of my forehead because we want the inside area to look the lightest. Okay, and a little bit right underneath that jawline. Make sure you go up behind your ear if you decide you ever want to try to contour. Um, again, this is something special, right? Because we're just doing, you know, a more dramatic look. One thing I wanted to show you too, and this is kind of a trick for somebody who likes makeup a little bit more, is um, they have something called reverse contouring. I don't know if you guys, you know, whereas if you don't want to use like a contour color, but you want your cheekbones to stand out, you can actually... This is just <laughs> a light color. I know it looks dramatic right now. And you probably see this on like RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, you can do this with any light colored powder, but again, the idea is you just blend it out. But because you're putting a little bit of a lighter powder there, it's gonna make your, um, your, your cheekbone stand out a little bit more. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, going out and buying an, another contour powder. So I'm gonna do blush, I'm gonna, Kind of stick with the um, the cool palette. So I'm gonna use this one here. And again, you guys, um, I said a lot of times, um, I like to go in an upside down U shape for my facial shape, um, just because I have a little bit of a rounder face. So that puts the majority of the product here. It gets softer as it goes down. And then a little bit just up around my um, temple. If you have a thinner face, you can go ahead and you can do the smile at the cheekbones, but that is just going to make my face look a little wider and God knows I do not need that, right? So again, most of the product in the back, it should get softer as I go forward. And you guys know my special little trick is to take whatever's left on my brush and take a little bit just right over top of my eyeshadow that just kind of brings everything together. It's just a very soft blend. And I am going to Gosh, this is going so quick tonight with me having my foundation and stuff done. I'm gonna use a little bit of highlighter. This is um, called Sin. It's uh, Usually I've been using like a golder one. This one is a little bit of a silvery tint. So I'm gonna do that right here, just on the top of my cheekbones. Again, um, it should be like a little sandwich, right? It should go, um, whatever that is, contour, <laughs> blush and highlight on the top. And I take it right up above my eyebrow. Again, over here, a little bit as my highlighter and up above my eyebrow. 
I did not contour my nose, you guys, because again, it is very rare that I do that. Um, what am I missing? I don't think anything, right? I got shadow, liner, brows were already on. Um, and I got this lovely lip, right? Um, you know, if you feel like, um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, cause I know I talk a little bit about dry skin, but just a little trick. So sometimes you guys will get powder and I talked to you guys about using translucent powder, right? Because you work so hard to find foundation that works. And then why put a colored powder over top of it? Because then it's going to change the color. Um, these little powder puffs. Hi, Amanda. Listen, I want to tell you, please know that I did not forget about you. And you're going to wake up one day with um, something in your mailbox and you're going to go, oh my God, she didn't forget. Um, I am not working right now. So as soon as I do, I will get on your package. Um, but these little powder puffs are great if you have oily skin or if you're going someplace and even swimming, not that you would wear this to a pool party, you guys, but if, if you are wearing foundation and you want your makeup to stay, um, you can actually, besides a setting spray, you can use these powder puffs um, with a loose powder and instead of, <laughs> I did not, I did not forget, um, instead of using um, a brush, what you want to do is you actually want to roll this right into your skin. Um, and what this is going to do, I actually do this over my eyebrows too, because I want my eyebrows to be a little bit softer. But what this does, you guys, is it almost waterproofs. I mean, it makes your makeup water resistant. Um, so if you do go swimming and you're like, jump in the pool and come back out, um, your makeup is not going to start to smear and smudge. So this is kind of that makeup artist tip. So this is with any makeup puff. Um, and then what you would do, if I get in close, you probably see there's like little, you're just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just wipe off the excess. Um, and just like my lip, I showed you guys this last week, you can take again the sponge and you can go right up on your eye with any extra powder. And if you have, Krista, if you, know, you made a little boo-boo with your eyeliner, this does a fantastic job just kind of cleaning up underneath and making it all look clean. So last step is going to be um, setting spray. And this one, again, I'm just using what I have right in front of me, which is the L'Oreal Set It and Forget It. Um, but you can use any. The NYX one has really nice ones because they have some that make your skin a little bit more hydrated and glowing. They have some that make your skin matte. And one tip is, um, if your skin is very oily, you can actually um, spray the matte setting spray on your skin before you put your foundation on, and that will just help everything adhere, and then do one last spritz at the end. So um, so anyway, this is my soft eye dramatic lip look. You like it? Um, hopefully it's something that, um, on Elise, Hopefully it's something that you uh, feel like you can do down there in Florida. Um, and hopefully maybe it's something that um, I think it's really great for, um, I don't want to say it's good for anybody. Let's just say it that way. It's good for anybody. So um, Morgan, thank you so much. I'm glad you joined. Thank you guys all. Marlo, it's great seeing you. Amanda, I know you miss makeup, Amanda, don't you? Because you, you still have a you know, you still love it. I see it. I see it on your Instagram too. Um, and again, thanks you guys. Cause again, I don't do much. This is like my outing for the week. So, um, so <laughs> hi Aunt Pat. That's okay. You can watch it in the reruns. Um, I know Amanda, I was, I was just saying you missed it last week. I was, um, Heather Schreiner joined the class last week and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, you know, Amanda and Trang, I talked to and Heather, you know, I hired you guys when you were all little girls and now you're like moms and wives and, ugh, it's just crazy. So anyway, well, I hope you guys have an awesome night and hopefully you learned something new um, and uh, something that you'll try. And if not, please send me a message if you wanna see something next week. And if not, I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna use all makeup that you can buy in the drugstore, not because I'm trying to be trendy, but just because I want you guys to know you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup. So um, thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Love you, Mom. Thanks for joining. Bye.